Hello, I'm Gordon Matthews from the Hong Kong Anthropological Society. And when I think of the future of anthropology, of the world of anthropology and with anthropology, one thing that always comes to mind is the domination that the West has played over anthropology throughout the world. I mean, basically, anthropology has been a Western discipline and continues to be a Western discipline. It used to be a Western discipline from the standpoint of uh, the intellect, Morgan and Tyler and all those guys. Now it's a Western discipline from the standpoint of institutions. Look at the Social Science Citation Index and the fact that most of the journals on there are Western. The West continues to be best in the realm of anthropology, but this is slowly but surely beginning to change. When anthropology becomes a discipline of everyone studying everyone else, rather than only of the West studying everyone else. And I think this bodes for a very bright future of anthropology. Of course, it's ironic that I make this kind of comment here in Starbucks in Guangzhou, China, uh, a bastion of American imperialism, one might say. Nonetheless, this is what I see for anthropology, and I, I think for the world, that when we have a Japanese anthropology, a Chinese anthropology, a Brazilian anthropology, a Russian anthropology, a Spanish anthropology, uh, a, a, a Kenyan anthropology, an Egyptian anthropology, all in dialogue with one another about what the discipline is, what it means, and where it should go, that's when we truly have a mature anthropology in the world. Is that happening yet? Not quite yet, but it will happen, and only when it does happen will anthropology emerge from what I see as its adolescence into a true adulthood. At that time, I think anthropology will be a matter of the ethnographic investigation of people throughout the world. I'm really excited about that day coming, and I, uh, I hope it comes within the next few decades so that uh, I'll be around to see it. Thank you.